is a good story. Alex designed a space for a very good friend of ours who happens to be a stylist. And I don't know that my husband or I would say that we have a ton of style necessarily. We know what we like, but I don't know that we necessarily cultivate that all the time. But our friend who is a stylist is fabulous. And we were at her house. She also has little kids and she had taken an awkward space in their house and, and made it really beautiful and functional. I was like, oh, this is amazing. Who did this for you? And um, she mentioned Alex, so we got her number and the rest is history. We've been working with her now for almost a year. I recommend Alex a lot, actually. I recommend her to family and friends who are looking for some help in a space. I think but it, design can be intimidating working with a, with a designer. But what Alex does for you is helps to bring your vision into reality. But it, it's also not about just going and acquiring things. She can incorporate the things that you already have. So some people think that it's just gonna be a complete wholesale, scrape what you have and start over. And that's not what happens. Um, she really listens to what you're trying to do. And she's also taking in everything about your house and your vibe and your family and trying to create a space that works with all of that. And I think some other designers um, may not do that. Um, and you get the sense that she really listens to what you want and incorporates you and your style and your likes and desires into the end result. Well, we had a couple of projects that we worked on. We worked on the master bath, the master bedroom, and um, this room that we're in now, which is which was a dining room. And you know, we have two little boys. We had this vision for an adult space in the house where we could sit and read the paper, read a book, have a cocktail, and have a serene, peaceful space. What made Alex stand out to me is she's very organized and she's very confident in her ability to take your vision and make it into reality. I like how she structures her process and she talked me through that process in that first meeting and that was really helpful. It wasn't such a black box. It wasn't so ethereal. It was a very regimented, objective process and I really like that. There are some creative approaches that Alex takes that you would never think to do but then the outcome is so incredible. For example, she painted our bathtub. So we had this sort of run-of-the-mill, standalone bathtub, beautiful, um, but she really made it unique. She painted it. And who would think to do that? I mean, I, when she told me this idea about painting the bathtub, um, I just, my first thought was, you can do that. You know, it just, I didn't even know that there was things like that. Um, it's not just about buying things. It's about transforming some things that you already have in ways that you would never think to do. Um, and she did that for us for a couple things, not only the bathtub, but some paintings that we had, some family heirlooms. Um, for example, the chest behind me is a World War II chest. Um, we wanted it incorporated somehow, but how? You just want it sitting in a corner, and so she made it into a bar. So it's things like that that were really surprising and, and fun. There is a difference in someone getting to know you and learning about what you like and staying in your budget and buying the things that complement what you already own. You know, Alex really thinks about the end result, the end, the client, not just the room. You can have a practical space that's beautiful, but it takes a skilled designer to, to work that in. You know, anyone can buy silk, anyone can buy luxurious things as long, of course, as your budget permits, but it has to work. It has to work in your lifestyle. I can't have my nine-year-old climbing all over this beautiful chair unless it's Scotch Garden, which it is. Um, so things like that, she really takes into consideration. My husband wasn't too sure about this whole thing. You know, he would say, oh, just whatever you want. I like whatever you like. And then I found when, you know, when Alex, so what she'll do is she'll come to you with You'll sit down and you'll go through this whole process where you talk about what your vision is and your budget and what things matter to you and what level of, of style do you want because that will impact your budget. And then she'll take all that in and she'll go do her design magic and come back to you with a design. And I asked my husband to sit in on that design meeting. I said, well, if you, if you don't care, at least come see everything that she has picked out. 
and and it turns out he did care. Um, he cared a lot, and he cared about the colors and the patterns and the textures. And um, I would so, you know, if you're if you're a wife or a partner, and, and your partner saying, "I don't, I don't care. Just whatever, do whatever you like." I would suggest maybe having them come to that design meeting because there's a lot of both of us in these rooms and this is his home too. So um, now that I think he was part of the process, he definitely feels more ownership in the results. Um, he's more comfortable in the space because we made some of it about him, not just about what I wanted. Um, and, and, you know, Alex took all of that into consideration.